Uh, Democratic Alliance uh, federal leader John Senezen and Gauteng DA leader Solim Simang are leading a crime awareness rally outside Soshanguve police station today. This is in response to a spike in violent crimes in the area. Newsroom Africa Zola Shorana monitoring this story for us and joining us live uh, with the latest. Zola, good to have you on uh, this afternoon. How has the march progressed? Well, what I can tell you, um, Tabo, is that today's rally was essentially about residents of Soshanguve in different sections complaining about the scourge of crime and how police have not been attending to their grievances or their cry, um, saying that they need something to be done. Um, as a result, a petition has been submitted um, for Soshanguve um, residents so that something is done. They've mentioned that uh, they've been seeing, you know, crime wardens, but they're not really, you know, responding to crime as they're supposed to be. And they're also mentioning about, um, you know, police unavailability and lack of visibility, particularly in the area of Jugulin. Now, Tabo, you would understand that there's been a number of cases that have been related to um, Jugulin. Uh, the most recent one where a number of people were shot dead um, on New Year's Eve. And obviously that, you know, raised a lot of questions around, you know, safety um, in that particular area with residents saying that this has been our life for a number of years. Um, you know, some cases don't even even make it out there but it so happened that uh, four people were gunned down hence a lot of people were shocked about the incident and I'm joined by um, a ward councillor uh, or rather a councillor of Jugulin and also a resident that will actually be painting us a picture of how it feels like living in Jugulin but let me start with the councillor ma'am thank you very much for your time I can see you have a petition in your hand and you obviously are saying that this is a result of the skyrocketing you know crime rate in this area um, thank you, Zola. Yeah, so what happened is that since 2022, we've been experiencing a high level of crime, escalating levels of crime in Jukulain, in and around Suchanguve as well. So um, we, we, we tried to engage because obviously uh, SAPS, which is the one that is responsible to fight crime in the area, is the competency of the national government. Uh, therefore, as the municipality, obviously, we didn't have the capacity to try and enforce law um, or even try and, and, and solve some of the issues that we're experiencing. So the solution was just to submit this petition, which was signed by residents of Jukulain and Sushanguve as a whole, because um, this, this problem that we actually experience, it's not only a Jukulain problem, it's a Sushanguve as a whole, because now we have residents across, um, even next to Mabopani Winterfeld, which are like neighboring townships around Jukulain that are also being affected by this. So this petition obviously it seeks to, to address the issue that we're currently facing as resident. I'm a resident of uh, Jubilee Block P. Uh, I get affected every day. As I'm talking to you now, last night, two people were gunshot in my area. So it's, 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 it's ongoing. It's every day. And there's obviously no capacity with regards to Ritard Police Station. I mean, the station as it is, uh, you'll remember, Sujanguvi is the biggest township in the city of Swan. And you cannot have one police station operating on one van to attend to all uh, these queries that we have. Therefore, this petition seeks to address the issue of capacity in Ritard and the other the police stations with Sushanguve and Block JJ so that they are able to respond quickly to the matters that are being addressed and to, to make sure that I mean our residents feel safe as well. Now what would you like to see happen? Perhaps another police station or more police um, people on the ground or more boots patrolling the area? Correct. So, so in this petition, we've also indicated the fact that we would like to have an additional uh, satellite uh, police station. It could be Amabereto or whatever it's situated where it will be easy for them to respond. Yes, we do have the Amabanyas that were deployed, but to be honest with you, I haven't seen them inside Jukulay. I actually see them on the main roads, but not inside where the actual crime is happening. So the capacitating of the police station, but as well as an additional satellite for a quick response, so that when a matter is respond, I mean, I mean a matter is reported, then the response rate is quick. Like for an example, the matter that we had in Jugulain of the family that lost four lives. I mean, we visited the family this morning and the problem was that uh I think the incident happened just after 12, midnight, but the police only responded the following day after 9 in the morning. It cannot be. It cannot be. All right. Um, thank you very much for your time. Of course, we'll get to hear um, from some of the residents who will be painting us a picture of how it feels like living in Soshanguve, especially in areas like Juglin, uh, where most people call it a playground for criminals, as they are saying, saying that Tabo, there's been so many cases that are happening. Some even go unreported be because, uh, you know, police are unavailable. And as it stands, they have one police station that is currently serving
uh, Soshanguve, which is the biggest township in the city of Tuane. And in the petition that they have submitted, they are pleading to have more police visibility and more boots on the ground. Perhaps that will maybe, you know, reduce the crime rate um, in this particular area. Tabo, back to you in studio. Right, uh, that is Zola Shulana. They're live for us out in Soshanguve. Now,